Y to the E stands for Yes, <laughs> Price Price are back in the gallery. Sorry about the weird noise outside. Um, you have to make do with the uh, sound. Um, however, I do have a little glimpse of a TARDIS to show you. If I go to six, say, um, uh, six. Not true. No. Really? Trying to do a video. I am literally trying to find his channel. Kids baffle me. You gotta do it, do it properly. Yeah, my windows are open, literally, because it's absolutely hot. I'm never gonna get this video done, am I? Right. Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 13th. 13th Doctor's TARDIS. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, the screwdriver's coming next week as well, so. Yeah, I know. I don't have that one. No. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Can't even do me on video. Right. Tardis. Come. So. Sorry, I can't spell. I know. Sonic. Screwdriver. Seriously. There he is. Just before we be There he is. There. I will show the video. Well, hello, YouTubers. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have to borrow your video. Right. That is as close you're going to get to seeing the real TARDIS design. Well, the ins inside. Now, from what I can see, you can see, like, purple background, you know, like, pink design. And I think the Doctor's going with the pink classic effect. Um, you can't see, you can't quite see the TARDIS time road in the middle just yet. But you can see there's like steps and there's like people on the floor and you can see like steps behind them. Um, I, I thought it was on the image. But it does look like from the outside it's a lot smaller than the previous TARDISes. Um, which I don't think is quite good because I prefer the TARDIS to be up big and open. And I like the facts where it's bigger on the inside. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got like some pink um, randals at the back, if you can try and make that out. Uh, I think there's going to be too much lighting going on in there. Um, but you can see the TARDIS door. Now, if I just go back a few. You can see here at the entrance of the TARDIS, it looks all weird. Uh, I don't know if this is actually a full release on it, but you can see the p police public car box. So it looks like the full tire is put just at the back knocked out. So it looks very basic. There's nothing going on with it. And uh, it just looks like you can just attach it and reattach it or whatever. And um, you can see the windows there are just clipped on with something. On Matt Smith, you have these like pa padded stuff at the side of the walls. And this one's a bit too basic. Um, but... 
if you just go to here, you can see it's uh, a bit too much pink. Well, because the doctor's a female. A bit too pink and weird. Um, so, plus that and the sonic screwdriver. Mm, I don't know. Don't know. Um, which, again, does remind me of... Uh, Apart from that, you'd go to a music video, and I think that TARDIS is quite smaller. And um, there ain't mo nothing much to say about it. Although, if I just zoom out, you can see Jody, Mandy, Brad, and I've seen whatever his name is. Um, the chairs there, and you can see like there's curtains around the whole th floor. So it looks like it's, you can see like the top half of the section is blacked out a bit so you can see like where the police public hall sign would be and then above that you can see some like lighting or something. Um, um, nothing really much to say about that. Uh, I don't really know. But I think that it's going to be a lot smaller where they have to be opened up on one side like the 9th and 10th Doctor's um, TARDIS console. Um, you know. Uh, this is like an image by Six Sick, which um, I'm on his YouTube channel. Um, he's the person that's... Now, I do not own this myself. This is actually from another YouTuber before Six Sick. And uh, he, he managed to get his hands on it. And he's sharing it out, and I thought I can have a look and uh, see see what I think. Now I would recommend watching this YouTuber Six Sec because he's a great YouTuber. Um, I know he does a lot of weird videos, but again they are great, especially when you want to do like Doctor Who type videos. Um, I don't know if you can see down to the side of the curtain. If I can just uh, pull up a brush or something, brush. There we go. You can see round here that there's like something going on, if you know what I mean. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's second part to the TARDIS or something. Um, it looks like it's on... S s the floor is grey, so like in the pro promotion video what I saw from another YouTuber, um, from the box it was painted, the floor was painted silver. So this is silver. Um, the pulse open sign is again black. Um, I think the the doctor is going back to classic time. Don't know like how, but I think the TARDIS is looking a bit more smaller than usual. Um, you can't get a full zoom on what the TARDIS console look like just yet, but you can get a hint of it. Call um a pink of a colour pink, um with some purple, grey flooring, some steps, um which again the steps look like it has Gallifrey and text on it, um but I don't know how this is gonna turn out in the final, in the episode, so basically we've got several things to look forward to. Again, a new screwdriver, the capture options, is going to be released in August the 3rd, which a man is pre-ordered, so it will be coming the day that it's due to be released, because I managed to get Amazon Prime, and, uh, yeah. So, thanks to Amazon Prime, I'll be able to get my screwdriver on the same day of the release date, so I'll be one of the first... I'll be one of the first people to get the Capture Options version. The downside to the Capture Options, um, thanks to the Cyberman fan for letting me know about it, um, saying about um, the screwdriver not uh, um, the screwdriver having two buttons, but it only um, the second button doesn't do anything. It's just there as a, a mocking you thing, and uh, I th I think that capture is going to have a back back step to it. And especially how you're going to replace batteries, I do not know. That's one thing I've got to find out when I get it. I'll be getting it next week, the day before my birthday, um, on the 3rd. Because my birthday is on the 4th, you know. And I've already getting happy birthday messages proper early. I'll be doing a video on my birthday. Well, probably. And I can't even do a video because I keep getting kids screaming. So yeah, 
Um, so you've got something to look forward to um, next week. Um, I will be adding it to my Sonic Screwdriver playlist. You know, my D dot S Sonic Screwdriver playlist. Um, but I think that just the TARDIS is quite literally just pink to be my liking. All oh, right, it's the thirteenth Doctor. She's a female, so obviously the male doctors have like different colours, like grey. So in fact, I like the the twelfth and the eleventh Doctor's TARDIS, but I do like the David Tennant TARDIS. I would like to see a bit of more of all fifth, all four. Um, no, I said fourteen Doctors, but there's no fourteen Doctors. They're all <laughs> yeah. So there is quite a lot of. Uh, Hopes for this new series, um, but I can feel I feel like that the TARDIS is going to be quite small, looking at the outside. But then again, it's not a full out zoom of it. Uh, but thanks to uh, Six Seat Six X friend and Six Sec for making this video, because otherwise I've not found out what it would look like, and I'm glad. And uh, hopefully, I do not be get um copyrighted in fact this is not my video so in fact I aren't even showing you the full video I'm just showing you the images because I don't want to get copyrighted uh, but this is the real owner of the YouTube channel the real owner uh, I would subscribe to him because he's a great youtuber um, now this is what I meant by the f you know that he he, he had the before I start so now imagine that being the 13th Doctor Sonic. <laughs> close. <laughs> We're not close enough. Yeah. You get focus axe no seven. Don't know why that's up there. <laughs> get down. I'll go back to my channel. But yeah. However, there is a YouTuber as well that has done a... I haven't seen this one yet. That's what I'm going to add to my playlist. I think this is the Cap Doctrine's version. Um, Doctor Who, the detective Doctor Sonic could have toy, brand new, uh, made by Cap Doctrine's that will debut series side by Jodie Whittaker. Right. Now, I will do a video. In fact, I will watch a bit of this because I want to know what about this button. So, um, I will... T Yeah. It was right. Going from the emitter now to the main body of the sonic screwdriver itself, would you continue this rather unusual, almost yeah. metal design, which I think once again is nothing like any other sonic screwdriver that we've seen so far. So if you have this rather How did you manage to get this early? It wasn't even meant to be released. Almost like a rock with a few stipples and things here and there. As you can see there have a few blemishes towards the side as well. Does it do anything? Battery. Oh yeah, it's about repack down there. In the middle half of the sonic screwdriver body, we do continue this rather unusual crystalline section. Now this is a rather is a dummy button. Now I do think that this has been applied there just to look like the actual sonic from a TV show. But although that does look like a button, as it states on the instructions, that is of course a dummy and doesn't actually do anything. Damn you, character options! It cost me fifteen quid. Just to get one of them, and there's only one button that actually works, and there's a dummy button. Mm. Seriously, major backstep. I would have rather go to America, but hey, expensive. Wonder if someone can send me one. No, because then I don't want to be giving out my address and that. What? Well, I'm looking forward to see that in action later this year to exactly see how it works on this toy 
point it is in fact a completely stationary piece. If you look at the lower section of the sonic screwdriver, which is the bottom half once again, do get this rather similar metal design there with a bit of welding taking place along the sides with a few scratches here and there as well. And it is also nice to see a few of the clear sections seeping out in a few areas as well, which is really nice to see that when this is illuminated, the light does in fact shine all the way down, giving it a rather natural feel once again. And the most unusual thing with this sonic screwdriver is as you can see, Fortunately, once again, due to this being a toy, we do have a little bit of company information stamped into the side along the production code at the very bottom there. But that said, if you are completely fussed about that, once again, you could paint it over if you so wished. Taking a look at the electronic effects of this sonic screwdriver, the first of which is, in fact, a sound effect, and it's more just a movement effect. Now, as you can see, we do have the sonic screwdriver stationary on display. However, when you go to pick it up and actually clench your hand around the side there, as you can see, the inner section actually lights up with absolutely sound effects whatsoever. Well, that's and while it does in fact go off, as you can see, it's a solid screwdriver, feeling a little bit more alive, almost like that it is once again a rather natural device. And almost on the inside there, when it is on, it makes it look like a candle or something flickering away. The inside column flashing all the way throughout, you do also have the light, it does in fact come on at the very bottom as well, so it does almost shine through the whole device, which can be accessed by pressing the button in the middle once. It's pretty much your standard sonic screwdriver sound that has been updated a little bit too soon brand new model. Second sound can be accessed by pressing the button in the middle twice. And this is in fact a brand new sound that I do believe is in fact the one that is referenced on the box as the diagnostic sound effect and is in fact the one on the 720 toy that has the spinning emitter in the middle so you could actually sense this sonic maybe turning doing scans or something like that whilst this sound plays so worth a mention which whilst you do play the sound effects you do have the light of the emitter lighting up but you also have the central light lighting up as well and then if i just remove my hands slightly very carefully there we do also have the light running all the way down to the very bottom section of the sonic screwdriver as well which is a really cool little feature that i've never seen before ever on a sonic prop so it's a nice little new addition finally the third sound effect is accessed by pressing the middle button three times That's new. This one is, of course, your stereotypical sonic screwdriver sound effect that we've all heard many, many times before. However, what is nice to see is the light in the very middle of the screen a little bit when the sonic sound actually plays, along with the light in the very centre of the sonic as well. For a few seconds, I am, in fact, going to transfer over into darkness because I believe that this shows off the lighting effects a little bit more. So as you can see, just taking a look at the very middle there, it actually exposes the light running all the way down. So, that's the couch options, is it? Okay. One, the couch option Sonic does not compare to the, the American version. I do like the American version a lot better than the couch options. And if I didn't, if I didn't know this sooner, I wouldn't have bought it. But then again, I needed a 13 screwdriver to do a video with. So how am I going to do one? That sounds so wrong. No more comments. But yeah. Major back step to character. Alright, it looks... In fact, I do like the new sound effects. Um, it's th they got the update sound effects from... And then they changed it to the... You know, like how I said, the rotating crystal part where they scan it like the Sonic sunglasses? At least they've kept that sound effect, but they've cut it down a bit. I don't mind it, because I would like to have at least a scanning mode. And then the fall time, again, doesn't work on wood. Like again. Yes. Back in the spring. So yeah. I might do a size comparison between this, but I can feel like the screwdriver's gonna be a lot shorter than how I would I did make some stands for my screwdrivers as well. Oh there's a moth in my room. Right, I'm gonna end the video here. Um I'm gonna watch the rest of this, but in it is don't forget to like and subscribe. I won't have a chance for a shout out, unfortunately. I've got something to do, but I'll do it in the next video, anyways. Um, but thank you, Cyberman. Uh, what was it, Cyberman fan, for letting me know about the Capture Option Sonic. And um, if it wasn't for those productions, I wouldn't have believed you, but I believed you. 
Um, so, so much for a dummy button, um, but at least you can actually squeeze it to actually make it like it alive or something, so. I'll forgive character for what they're trying to do, so far. Anyways, the review will be next week, and I don't think I'll be doing much more uploads after, well, after today, because I want to get, I just want a break, because I've got headache. Um, plus I just want to just go to bed or something, I'm just tired. But anyways, have a great day, subscribe if you're new, and also 118 subscribers, thank you so much. So close to, uh, uh, 118, 119, 120 subscribers. Let's get it. Anyways, subscribe and like the video, and also turn the notification bell on as well. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, hang on.